You know, the fast food industry really has no shame. They'll do anything to generate artificial hype around some limited time cash grab that they've slapped on their menu. And we could talk about these hype beast cash grabs all day. The Travis Scott burger, these various abominations at Taco Bell, the freaking Burger King Black Whopper, for Christ's sake. But there's one of these limited time fast food releases that really dwarfs all the rest when it comes to controversy. The release of the Popeye's chicken sandwich. A release that was so chaotic that it's been blamed for inadvertently causing widespread criminal activity, assaults, and even a murder. And in today's video, I'll be revisiting the madness, telling you the story of this tumultuous chicken sandwich release and the infamous killer that ran amok during it. This is the story of the Popeye's chicken killer. All of this fried chicken talk, it's got your boy ready for a snack. Thankfully, the sponsors of today's video, Cook Unity, hooked me up with some of their spicy chicken tendies and a plethora of other delicious, Heat and eat meals, baby. Cook Unity offers weekly batches of gourmet meals prepared by our country's best restaurants and chefs and ships them right to your front door. All you gotta do is heat these things up in the microwave or oven. It's super easy. Nobody does heat and serve meals like Cook Unity. Each meal is prepared in a regional micro kitchen, not some soulless factory. It's all fresh, never frozen. Cook Unity chefs offer up a wide range of meals with over seven different dietary preference filters, including vegan, paleo, and gluten-free options. And with that being said, Let's see what's on the wavy web serve cook unity menu tonight. So first we got these spicy chicken tenders with truffle roasted potatoes prepared by chef Ruben Garcia. Man, these tenders are juicy and have a nice little spicy kick to them. The potatoes are well seasoned, just an overall scrumptious meal that really satisfied that fried chicken craving I was having. Next up, we got the meatballs with braised kale and creamy polenta by chef Dustin Taylor. Man, these meatballs are so good, hearty and full of flavor. The polenta really complements this dish. This is like fine dining, seriously, dude. And lastly, we got that old guava barbecue chicken with creamy mac and cheese and southern style collard greens. This one will knock your socks off. This chicken is packed with flavor and the mac and cheese is killer. To think this is a meal that I literally picked off my front porch and heated up is insane to me. Look, I know all of you are hungry right now, so let me hook you up. You guys can go to cookunity.com slash wavywebsurf or click the link below and use code wavywebsurf50 at checkout to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals. So get to ordering guys and bone apple tea. The craze that would eventually become Popeye's chicken mania ultimately begins in the summer of 2019. Seeing the massive success of Chick-fil-A's signature sandwich, chains around the United States were getting in on the burgeoning chicken sandwich market and started pumping out Sammies of their own. From McDonald's to Burger King to Wendy's, everyone and their grandma was slapping together some mediocre chicken offering just to say they had one on the menu. And for any of you out there that have tried these chicken sandwich offerings from these lesser chains, uh, you know that they don't hold a candle to the Chick-fil-A classic, baby. <laughs> but that being said, in August of 2019, a worthy contender would enter the chicken sandwich wars, and that contender was Popeyes with their own southern style chicken sandwich. This bad boy was quietly released on August 12th. It was met with little fanfare initially. For most, the offering flew under the radar, but those who tried the sandwich were giving it rave reviews, praising it for its brioche bun, crispy breading, and overall juiciness. But despite these glowing reviews, people weren't flocking to Popeye's restaurants to get their hands on this thing. So how did we go from this to this? That's why I don't fuck with y'all, Popeye's. I'm gonna come in there and pop y'all motherfucking eyes out y'all fucking head. Long lines outside of Popeye's. Those who brave the roughly hour long wait are rewarded with the latest sensation, a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Well, it pretty much can all be boiled down to Popeye's punking Chick-fil-A on Twitter. Seeing positive reviews of Popeye's chicken sandwich and Twitter banter suggesting that this sandwich was better than Chick-fil-A's, some dipshit at Chick-fil-A crafts this glaringly insecure and passive aggressive tweet obviously directed at Popeye's. Bun plus chicken plus pickles equals all the love for the original. 
Now, Chick-fil-A up to this point had never acknowledged any of its other chicken sandwich competitors, and this tweet seemed to telegraph that they actually thought that the Popeye's chicken sandwich was a threat to their bottom line. And it's the way Popeye's replies to this passive-aggressive tweet that ends up sparking a chicken sandwich frenzy. It was a simple reply tweet to Chick-fil-A saying, y'all good? Popeyes is like, we got this fool on the ropes, bro. This cheeky response was perfect, and needless to say, the Twitter masses loved it. Because let's be honest, dunking on Chick-fil-A is kind of a pastime of Twitter if you haven't noticed. Popeyes ratioed Chick-fil-A to Middle Earth, and their tweet wound up getting close to 300,000 likes. The humorous back and forth between the two chicken giants was covered by blogs across the internet, which inadvertently raised the public's awareness of Popeyes' new chicken sandwich. And naturally, you had people wanting to become a part of this viral moment, so they ended up going to Popeyes to try this chicken sandwich for themselves. Popeyes had accidentally stumbled into a viral marketing campaign here. It must be crack in this, in this chicken sandwich. It's gotta be crazy to wait in a line like this. Is it worth it? Yeah, it is. This is Takina Nadane's second wait for the sandwich. The internet has declared a taste challenge to the chicken sandwich holy grail, Chick-fil-A. I gotta know the verdict here. Popeyes. It's better. It's better, yeah. His first taste, a moment in chicken sandwich history. Mmm. Yeah, he says he'll be back for more. I taste the spice from the spicy. Um, I taste the pickle. I got a little pickle. The, the bread. It's very good. Our very own 13. So before you know it, stores that once had surpluses of chicken sandwiches were now running out. And when news of chicken sandwich shortages started to spread online, that's when panic set in for those who hadn't got their hands on one yet. With the sense of urgency surrounding the sandwich, lines started spilling out of Popeye's restaurants nationwide. A full-blown mania had erupted, and with the mania came criminal activity. Videos began popping up on social media, showing disorderly scenes at Popeye's. One video shows a portly patron reaching through a drive through window, assaulting a restaurant worker over a chicken sandwich. Another video shows a chaotic drive through scene where two vehicles collided with each other while in an effort to fight for their place in line to get a chicken sandwich. Hell, at one point it was reported that an armed mob entered a Popeye's restaurant and allegedly held a cashier at gunpoint over a chicken sandwich. Hey, look, county jail's chicken sandwich is way worse than this, so don't do this kind of thing. We've told you about how popular the Popeye's chicken sandwich is. The sign here on the door says it all. Be right back. They don't have any chicken sandwiches. But you know what? Apparently, one group w went inside the store asking for the sandwich. They were told no. The customer became so angry, he actually pulled out a gun. Police say there were five adults who came in. They also had a baby with them. They walked into the store around 9 o'clock last night. After what had to have been several weeks of hell for Popeye's employees, the chicken sandwich mania would eventually die down in mid-September after pretty much every store had sold out of chicken sandwiches. While the limited run of chicken sandwiches had run their course, Popeye's did tease that more were on the way, with many restaurants having signs placed on their doors and windows claiming that the sandwich would return sometime in the future. But for the time being, folks would have to wait for another shot at the sandwich, which brings us to the topic of the Popeye's chicken killer. Let's fast forward about a month. The story of the Popeye's chicken killer begins in October of 2019. After quickly selling out of chicken sandwiches back in September, the public was demanding Popeye's bring back the item for those who missed out on the initial limited release. Being fans of money, Popeye's obliged. And on October 28th, the chicken chain would announce via another cheeky tweet targeting Chick-fil-A that the sandwich was returning to stores on November 3rd. This announcement naturally set the internet ablaze. And finally, once the day of November 3rd arrived, all hell broke loose once again. This video posted by Murder Inc. Sunday shows a group of employees physically fighting in the back of the store. They're fighting each other. People are fighting the employees in the parking lots in the streets. It's getting out of control. No other chicken place is dealing with this. We need to have security out here. Um, the neighbors, Wendy's, Wenko are complaining of this disturbance of the cars lining up all the way through their properties. Uh, so we're going to uh, have to shut down. While night one of the Popeye's chicken sandwich re-release proved to be quite the disorderly spectacle, no one was seriously injured during this frenzy. 
But the same couldn't be said for the following evening. On the night of November 4th, Chicken Mania was still sweeping the nation with long lines spilling out of Popeyes around the country. And it would be in one of these lines filled with hungry visitors that a tragic scenario would unfold. The location was the Popeyes at the 6200 block of Oxon Hill, Maryland. 32-year-old Rico McLean is in line with several other restaurant visitors, all trying to get their hands on a meal. With folks experiencing above-average wait times for their meals, the environment is tense and folks are very defensive regarding their position in line. The last thing you'd want to do in a situation like this is try to jump the queue. And with that being said, enter 27-year-old Kevin Davis. Davis was also in line for Popeyes on this eventful evening, but at some point while waiting, Kevin reported reportedly makes the decision to cut in front of several restaurant patrons in line. It's at this point where Rico McLean angrily confronts Mr. Davis, leading to a verbal altercation between the two men that only becomes more heated as time passes. Eventually, Rico McLean and Kevin Davis decide to take the matter outside, presumably to squash the beef with their fists. But as the men exit the Popeye's building door, that's when Rico McLean almost immediately produces a knife and lunges at Kevin, stabbing him in his upper torso, the blow mortally wounding the man. After the cowardly stabbing, Rico McLean would flee the area, leaving Kevin for dead. Nearby witnesses would call police and first responders would escort the rapidly deteriorating man to the hospital. Unfortunately, medical personnel were unable to save him and Kevin passed away later that evening. And what began as an exciting night ended in the tragic murder of a young man. And the situation was only made worse because Rico McLean was attempting to evade justice. He was on the run and in hiding. Unaware of the man's identity at the time of the murder, police would release surveillance footage from Popeye showing their unidentified suspect and naming his female companion a person of interest in the murder of Kevin Davis. Because the stabbing occurred during the midst of the Popeye's chicken sandwich hype, it became inextricably linked to the sandwich's release and would make national news headlines. Now to Maryland, where a man was stabbed to death outside a Popeye's restaurant. Police say the stabbing happened over a fight about the fast food chain's chicken sandwich. You heard me right. They added that it appears that one man may have cut in front of another one in a line. At the Popeyes in Oxon Hill today, candles burned for the victim, 28-year-old Kevin Tyrell Davis of Oxon Hill. Meanwhile, customers inside continued to stand in long lines to get the sandwich and were shocked by the circumstances. It's very, very crazy just to stab somebody over a chicken sandwich. I, they had talked to me. I said, man, I'll go buy you a chicken sandwich if you don't stab that person. I mean, it's just, just, uh, Unbelievable. With so much attention being granted to this case by way of the Popeye's hype, it was only a matter of time before someone would come forward and reveal the killer's identity. Law enforcement would eventually get a tip, and 10 days after the stabbing had taken place, on November 14th, Rico McLean was identified as the suspect and police would arrive at his home in Capitol Heights, just 20 minutes from the crime scene. Rico McLean was then arrested, jailed, and charged with first-degree murder, second-degree murder, first-degree assault, and second degree assault. Stowinski said the accused killer, Rico McLean, was caught yesterday at a home in Capitol Heights on Nova Avenue. And Stowinski said he does not expect anyone else will be charged in the case, either as an accomplice or for helping McLean hide from the law. And something else here, Stowinski said persistent conversations also on social media that somehow the victim and the suspect knew each other and had some kind of ongoing dispute are simply not true, period. Davis is accused of cutting the line, and McLean is accused of killing him for it. The killer would later be found guilty of second-degree murder, and in September of 2022, Rico McLean was sentenced to serve 22 years in prison for the callous killing of 27-year-old Kevin Davis. Prosecutors were hoping to get 30 years or more for Rico McLean, but the judge decided to go with the lower sentencing option here in consideration of McLean's children. Due to state sentencing rules in Maryland, Rico McLean will only have to serve a minimum of 50% of his sentence, meaning that he could hypothetically get out of prison in around 10 years, which would technically sort of, I guess, give him some years of raising his children in their formative years, I guess is what the judge is thinking here. I don't know. Whatever the case, it's a sad and disturbing story. A young man's life taken far too soon just because some guy got minorly inconvenienced in a Popeye's and thought the way you solve that problem is by stabbing them. Rest in peace to Kevin. 
Popeyes is by no means directly responsible for the actions of its restaurant visitors, but it's simply bizarre to me that such a mania can be created over something as trivial as a chicken sandwich. In the age of social media, we've seen similar scenes play out time and time again. All it takes is for a company to engineer some viral moment online and mix that in with an illusion of scarcity. Folks are going to be knocking down doors trying to get their hands on whatever you're shilling. But wrapping things up here, that was the story of the Popeye's Chicken Killer. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down below in the comments section. Leave a like on the video and let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. I want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.